there's going to be a nitrogen. We're going to need blue, carbon black, oxygen green, hydrogen red. We really got the iris high. We're going to leave it that way, though. Okay, here we go. Save our colors here. Just if theme. Just a mean. What I wanted to show you was use it to your advantage. If you need to memorize this, teacher wants you to know all this, I use capital lowercase a lot. Don't be afraid to throw a little uh, dash in there. Anything to help you pronounce it for one. So this you would call it histidine. It'll help you spell it. Histidine. Hist a mean, see now when you keep it together, because how do they pronounce it? Hist a uh, mean. The uh should be with the mean. It should be a uh, mean. So it's histamine. Now histidine, remember, that was our AA. This now is considered it's not a hormone. What do you call it here? Now we'll think of a name in a minute. Now amino acids we remember. Remember we were drawing these before? How do we start? We start with the triangle to a diamond to a diamond. And then what's that diamond up there get? Next we do our oxygens. This way we can keep our corners on the diamond straight. So we got an oxygen there. That way that arm goes to that side. This arm can go to there. That goes over there. This is our side group. Get a little worried, take a break. Grab your crayon, same thing again. We only need four colors. Carbon, we're doing black diamonds here. Oop, we're going too far, right? We didn't make sure that has all its things. For the camera, I'm going to skip the red crayon and use my old dot. This is all recycled materials we're using here, kids. So this is our amino acid backbone, remember? Nitrogen, carbon, carbon. What do you say we draw it in there? You guys are experts now. So we'll color in. We got black. That's a diamond. We shouldn't color it in until we know where that's going. That's the fourth bond on it. We got the oxygen with the green here. Right? See, this should be familiar now. The topics we're doing here are later down the road. And if you're catching this without seeing the beginning stuff, don't worry. Because this, this is brain chemistry. Philosophy is if kids are coming out of high school, can't read after even reading Harry Potter, I won't go into that, but if they're not learning anything anyway about chemistry, at least teach them something like this that's the hardest thing there is. Then when they do learn the easy stuff, they'll realize, oh, it wasn't so hard. So with the histidine now, this was a cool amino acid. Remember, usually this side group will always go to a carbon. Got kind of a diamond here. I'm messing that up, aren't I? Made it too big. I didn't want to do that. So this carbon goes to a ring here. So out here, we're going to bring it to, let's say, the tip of the diamond. Double bond to a diamond. Over to a diamond. See, now we could even just draw them in. If we don't want to realize what we're doing here and we're getting intimidated, that doesn't even go to a diamond. It goes to a triangle. See, I was going to say, though, we could draw them in, which is what I should have done. Draw them in and then connect them. So this actually becomes a triangle. 
so there's going to be a diamond in between it is the point. So here's a diamond. Now connect them. Okay, this end goes to here. This diamond goes to there. This triangle goes to there. Does it look like a triangle? I shouldn't go to blue. Boy, we're really messing this up, aren't we? But we're experts now. We can read this and understand it. I want to get to the amine part is where it'll come in clearer. So we see some double bonds here again, too. See, went a little bit too fast here on the... So we got double bonds, double bonds. Now see, even if you drew this with just the letters, it would still look confusing. But watch when we color it in here. Let me get a close up on just this part. This is our warm up anyway. We're just starting this. We haven't done it since before the holiday. Fourth of July, aren't we glad to be independent? So this up here, two dots. And that's why I really think it's therapeutic. If you get a little worried or something, just take a break, go back, do the dots, color them in while you think. Don't be in such a hurry like I was. See, I forgot. I even started coloring it before we did all the bonds. But this is a neat amino acid because there's two nitrogens in it. And see, i got to get in the habit of drawing these triangles bigger, okay? Later, when you're good at this, you'll be drawing it in ink. You never use pencil, ever. You can color in with it, but your notes, always in ink. So as we do the ring here, it's the number of bonds is what we need to focus on. Let's try and straighten this up a little. Counting bonds. I see three on this nitrogen. Color it in. There's a, let's see, the double bond is to the carbon. Boy, I really messed this. No, I didn't. Okay, so there to there to there. So that's got its three bonds. You color it in now. I see I colored that nitrogen in when I should have put the hydrogen back. Now, the diamonds. The structures won't draw the hydrogens, so you got to know your double bond, single, there's four for that. So take your time. I'm trying to rush it here. Remember that carbon there? See, it's all its bonds are to carbons. That's called the sp orbital. There's sp2. And there's a methyl that's called the sp3. No sp3s in this for the professors that would be testing you on this stuff. So it's easy to look now because a lot of people like to just count the hydrogens and see what the structure is. But this, just look, because nitrogen's the equivalent of a carbon because of the electronegativity. So it, it's sp with a, let's put an n up there. So the strength of all those bonds can be determined from uh, what you call the molecular orbital theory. This pi bond has a certain energy, these bonds. So to break this up or make it, you can figure what the free energy is. That's what they like to do. So I see a carbon here. It's got one, two, three bonds, right? Put that dot. There's the hydrogen, the fourth. Let's color it in. So now we're done with it. What's this carbon? One, two, three. It's got a double bond. So you got to figure it ain't going to have no more. It gets a hydrogen. So once you get the hang of this, it's pretty consistent, especially carbon. That's what's so beautiful about the element being right in the middle of the table. Four, tetrahedral. The spatial dimensions of carbon make it unique. The bond energies between carbon and carbon itself and the fact that it can do a double and triple bond i mean god couldn't be more brilliant when he came to this because he made it so simple okay so this is the side chain and we're going to clean this up considerably here see we're using all recycled material here too kids that's why some of this gets a little dirty and messy but look at this i find brand new Purple, purple thick sharpies. 
Good thing 